In this video, we're going to look at how to import images, uh, particularly .jpg or JPEG images, into Roland's Cut Studio software and prepare them to be cut on our Roland GS24 vinyl cutter. So the first thing we'll do is we'll open the Cut Studio software. And then we'll import, and we can import by uh, by dragging the items into uh, right into the software, or we can click on the import button. I'll go to the desktop, and we'll, we'll do a couple. The first one I'll import is the Raiders, or this Raiders sticker, uh, <clears throat> and it's been brought back from from the uh, traditional Raiders sticker that has the the crest and the raiders above it or the twin valley above it so here we just have the uh, uh, the raider the headdress and the word raiders coming down the back side so a couple things to be we want to take notice of uh, with regard to uh, these numbers down here on the bottom the first one shows where we are on the grid uh, that's an important important one and then we'll look at this size uh, this size indicator here uh, in a second. You see when we click on it now it says that this image is about three inches by four inches. We'll look at the size of the image we brought in. You can see the size of this image right now is about three inches by four inches. So uh, we're not going to adjust that yet. The first thing we'll do once we bring this image in, this is a JPEG image right now, we'll right quick click on it Go to Image Outline. We have some sensitivity settings here, uh, but we'll leave this almost toward the top. We'll hit Extract Contour Lines, click OK, and you'll notice that there's an outline over our existing image. And if you just grab a hold of that with your mouse and pull it off to the left or to the right, uh, you can see here's our old image. So uh, if I were to click on that, I can delete it. And here, if I zoom in, look, I have a pretty, pretty decent image uh, that could be cut with no problem. Now, as I mentioned earlier, beginning of the video, uh, this first set of numbers tells us where our cursor is within this uh, this document. And this document is, uh, the width of it is about 24 inches, just about, an inch shy uh, for for safety's sake of our 24 inch roll of vinyl which we we use for most of the things we do uh, so this is generally set to a default of 24 inches however if we were to put a smaller piece of vinyl in we'd have to be aware of that and make adjustments but if I were going to print this sticker and just this sticker I would probably um, print uh, a bunch of them or uh, at least enough to go across here. Otherwise, I'm going to end up with a piece of uh, a scrap piece of vinyl that I could use over. But if I knew I wanted some more of these, I would just click on it, hit Command C, and then Command V, you know, and I can bring it over. And I could go all the way across and delete that. We'll come back to that in a second. So as I look at this decal now uh, and zoom in on it. I'm going to bring it out here. I can see that its size has now changed, right? It was about three inches by four inches. Now it's about two by two and a half inches. And maybe that's the size that I want it. However, if I want it to be larger, I'm going to hold my shift key, go to the corner, just like we would free transform in Photoshop. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Now you can see it's about three by four inches. And I can zoom out or zoom in. But I, I can adjust the size of that sticker. So maybe what I want is a 3 by 4 inch sticker, and I'll put that there. Maybe I want some smaller ones too, so I'll copy it, and I'll paste it, and I'll bring it over here, and maybe now I have an inch by an inch and a half. And maybe I want a couple of those, so I can copy that, and paste that over here. So now I've got, oops. Now I've got some larger ones, the larger one and some smaller ones. Now that image came in pretty good, uh, but let's try another one. Let's, let's look at this, uh, import another image here. Let's 
Now this is a great image. It's a student created logo uh, for this class. And let's do the same thing. We'll right click on it, go to image outline, and we can see that it's uh, it's outlined the image. We'll see that more when we hit extract contour lines. We can see it's got a nice outline. That blue line represents where the where the blade on the cutter will cut for the decal. And I'll click OK. And I'll move that off the image and I'll delete the original image. Now I'm going to zoom in on this and take a look at it. You can see it turned out pretty good with the exception of this TVTE text. So if you have the option and you can, uh, particularly when text is small, you want to bring or you want to create text from the text tool with inside of Roll and Cut Studio. So definitely in this case. So what I'll do is I'll go to this editing arrow here, which will allow me to select just that TVTE, and I'll hit delete. You can see this sticker is still ready to go, but maybe I want that TVTE in there. So I'm going to write TVTE, and I'm going to go, because I know what font that was, I'm going to go in here into the properties of that font. And I want a reso around it. Okay, so now I have a much clearer version of that text that I can hold my shift key and free transform. Bring in here, maybe a little bit smaller. And now I'll zoom in. I'm just going to, for the sake of this, center it up by eye. Now I have a lot clearer uh, version of that text. And that ha can happen a lot if you ever have the option to, to, uh, to choose to use Roll and Cut Studio's text as opposed to bringing in text and tracing it. You definitely want to do that. So now I'm going to bring this down here in line. I'm going to cut this also. And you can see as I click on this, this is about 4.7 inches by 4 inches. And I'll bring this down here. But you notice that the text didn't come with that. So I'm going to hit undo. If I want to bring the text with it, uh, or have a, a number of images I want to bring or move at one time, I can just pull my arrow to the outside edge and highlight them all and move them together that way. And I have a situation that, that I want to do that here. Uh, you notice my TV and TE are separate from that 601 image. So I could do a couple things. I could highlight them all and then move them. I could highlight them all and then go into Object Grouping and group them. And now they're one and the same, so I can bring them down here. So that's that's one way to do that. Now, if I wanted a smaller version of that, I might hit Copy and Paste. And Free Transform that down, and now I have a smaller one. Being careful not to get... Uh, images that have a whole lot of int intricacy too small uh, so that they won't cut uh, nicely, particularly an uh, image with, with small text like this. When we make this, let's see here, when we make this real small, we run the risk of that TVT not cutting, but we'll try it. And then what I would probably do is, because I'd want to fill out this page of vinyl, either vinyl, I would either, a sheet of vinyl rather, I would either wait for someone else uh, to bring in some images, or in the case of these Raiders stickers, where I know um, that I'm going to want more than just one of them, uh, I'll make copies of those over here, and I can still I can copy this and paste it. And kind of lastly, uh, you notice we have a uh, we have a 23 inch canvas or sheet here. And we use 24 inch typically rolls of vinyl. But I'm also going to leave a little bit of a little bit of space on the edge here, about an inch, uh, as kind of a safety. So when this thing cuts, uh, that I don't cut anything off. So so that's it. That's bringing in some simple images, outlining them, uh, and resizing them, as well as uh, you know, deleting parts of those images and bringing in. Uh, text from Roland's Cut Studio.